What's up everybody, welcome back to Nintendo Land. Now the time I'm recording this video is super late, so I don't wanna wake everybody up, so I'm gonna be whispering a little bit, uh, but by the time you're watching this, it's probably gonna be set for the morning time, so you guys can see this as soon as you guys get up for the day, and you know, kinda of start your day. But yes, it seems as if Nintendo has added some type of new missions, slash almost like achievements, in order to get new, cool, customizable icons. Yes, right now we can only use a certain set of icons that Nintendo gives us, but we will soon be able to make our own. So, if you guys want to do this, this is how you do it. I'm going to give you kind of the lowdown because I kind of went through this a little bit. Uh, but right now, all you have to do is go to the Nintendo Switch Online. You click that, open that up, go through all your settings, and it'll take you to the online. And right away on the home page, you should see an area that talks about these new missions. And I need to actually scroll all the way over. It would be the first tab. Um, so right here it says introducing missions and rewards. So I'm actually going to go into this a little uh, better so that way you guys can actually see uh, just what the heck is going on here. Let me uh, get in here. Here we go. All right. So missions and rewards. So each month you apparently will get brand new icons. Now all these icons can be purchased for the you know silver coins shown here, and I'll talk about how you can get those in a second. But each month you'll get new icons, um, and of course starting off with this month, we have Mario Odyssey and Animal Crossing missions. Mario Odyssey, this is available until April 4th at 6 p.m. Pacific, but these are the Mario Odyssey icons that you can unlock, and these are the Animal Crossing icons that you can unlock. Now, I think all of these Animal Crossing ones are based off of the March birthdays of the villagers, so I think every month is gonna have different birthday-themed villagers, you know, kind of popping up for you guys to choose as well. But how this works is pretty much you do achievements you do missions and challenges in order to get these coins now i already have a lot of coins personally but if you want to keep getting coins each month each month you'll have a new mission as you can see this one says play the nes nintendo switch online that's it this month's feature title super mario brothers so all you have to do is go to your nes play super mario brothers and you should unlock 50 coins so let's test it out so right now, currently, I am sitting at, let's actually see, because if you click into the missions, it'll show you 1020. So they're saying right now, if I go to the NES, I have a lot of games here, so it's gonna take me uh, a quick second. But we go to the NES, we're gonna close Pokemon Arceus, because I've been playing that a lot lately. But we're gonna open this up. <clears throat> I have a lot of uh, new things to play. I had to do a little update. I haven't played any of these in a very long time, as you can tell. But all we have to do is play the original Super Mario Brothers, which is gonna be at the very bottom here. So it just says all we gotta do is play. And boom, simple as that. And it's actually a cool way to, you know, for Nintendo to get people to play some of the NES and SNES games and, you know, kind of show off their stuff. Hopefully there's not like things for the 64 games because you have to pay extra to play those games. But let's create a suspend point real quick just to make sure that that's saved. And it still says 1020, so I don't know exactly how. You can go into a mission tab and figure out how these missions actually work. I click missions, and it takes you into these four. Um, this one says use the application Nintendo Switch online once per week. I completed that. Um, this one says one game per week. Uh, play software that supports online play via Nintendo Switch online once a week. So once a week, if you just go online and play, you'll get this achievement, I guess, for the month. Uh, once per week, data save. So if you use Save Data Cloud backup once a week, you will get this, which is very weird. I guess just if you save your game any type of way. Um, but this one obviously features new Super Mario Brothers or Super Mario Brothers. It says play the featured NES Nintendo Switch online title. <clears throat> oh. And activate, or it says, an active Nintendo Switch Online membership is required to complete this mission. The latest version of the software is required. An internet connection is required, and the mission will end in 31 days. So maybe it takes some time, but I just played it. It might take a little time. Uh, but even if you don't have a Switch Online, you can complete missions on the My Nintendo app. I've been doing it for a while. That's why I have 10, 20 coins uh, from just doing little things with the mobile games and stuff like that. But you completed your missions um, and you get your coins. It's probably going to take a couple, you know, a little bit for it to calculate and register that I actually play the game. Um, but what you can do now is start customizing your theme. And we're going to make one real quick. So these are the Mario Odyssey themes and the borders and the background. Now these expire in six days. Um, 
which is weird that they expire. It says, uh, yeah, I don't know why it says six days. So I guess you only have six days to get these Mario Odyssey ones before the next ones roll out. Uh, so maybe it's different Mario Odyssey ones for the entire month. Um, and the same with Animal Crossing. Uh, these have 34 days, so you're good with the Animal Crossing ones. You can take your time with those. But I'm going to make a Mario Odyssey one, because I'm a Mario Odyssey guy. Um, so we're going to pick something that looks pretty interesting. Uh, let's see. We're going to have Mario throwing Cappy. Uh, so we're going to redeem this. It says we got it. All right. And then we're going to redeem... This is just a white, I can't tell what this even is. It's some type of pattern, but it's very, very, very minor. Um, just like really just sketches is what it looks like. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take one of these sketches. Let's redeem this one for an example. And let's get the, uh, let's get a gold background frame. Oh, here's a, here's a better one actually. Let's redeem this one too. So let's just redeem a couple. Because we get coins every month. So we can kind of, you know, get as much as we want. Um, now, we can uh, actually formulate right here under create icon. So we can go to create icon, create a new icon, and we have a pack of the stuff that we've done so far. Um, so here's all the different backgrounds we can use, or we can create our own. Let's create our own. So games, frames, let's use this frame we got, characters, we have Mario, and then backgrounds, um, we can really just pick the background, or we can use our custom background, which is hard to see, but for some reason it's just really hard to see on the screen, um, but there's one with a little bit of something in the background, uh, we can also choose this one, it has the kingdoms layout in the background, or you can pick a background color of your choose of your choose, of your choice. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say of your choosing, but uh, of your choice. And uh, there's a lot of colors to choose from, believe it or not, but I'm gonna go with this little uh, kingdom pattern in the background, um, and then okay. And then hitting okay, this can be your new icon and it immediately changes, um, just like that. And you get to keep these in your sets, right here. Uh, Save Data Cloud, it also shows you, like I guess your other missions and how far you've gone. Uh, and it shows that, like, for instance, I had some saved data cloud just now from playing Nintendo NES. Um, and then your points, obviously. And that's your missions and stuff like that. So, if we go back to the home menu, boom. It's changed our profile picture. Like that. It's probably going to take a little bit for your for you to get your coins. Uh, I don't know how much of the Mario Bros that you have to play. I don't know if you have to beat it or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, each month you will be getting new challenges um, in order to complete these. Um, and this is just pretty cool. I really hope they do some more like unique challenges. Um, like for instance, like completing a certain level of something or doing something uh, to really get people to play some games and just do specific things. Um, but, you know, I think most of them are going to be based on the, you know, Family Pass stuff. You know, the NES to SNES. Um, but it, yeah, it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Because these go really fast. So I'm going to get another Mario Odyssey border. And you should even be able to edit your current one. Yeah, you can edit this. Just switch out the frame to that. I mean, look at that. Simple as that. And um, once again, you can change your background if you want. And that's going to just straight up boop, change it. I mean, it's super quick. It's super easy. Um, and really no issues whatsoever. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. This is a really cool addition. And it's just such a random one that Nintendo decided to add. Um, out of nowhere, but it's a great one. This one is actually really cool, and I'm glad that Nintendo finally did this. I'm hoping that there's going to be some, you know, in-depth challenges and, like, more um, achievements like this in the future that Nintendo can give awards away with, and, uh, yeah, I'm just really excited about this. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for tuning in, and like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys. Bye.